Today I got a brand new Dell Inspiron 5000 series laptop. I'm going to do some upgrading on it, open it up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Morning guys, Dale here. Today I have a brand new Dell Inspiron 5000 series laptop. It's a 5593 model. Uh, just took it out of the box basically. I'm going to do a little upgrading on it. I'm going to open it up, show you how to do that. I'm going to add, well, first of all, it comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. I'm going to bump that up to 32 gigabytes. Now, this model will support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 in dual channel. Uh, this model has a 10th generation Intel Core i7 1065G7 processor. Uh, like I said, 16 gigs of DDR4, but we're going to change that. It does have a 2 terabyte PCI Express uh, NVMe SSD drive in it, so we're not going to mess with that. It's a 1080p full IPS display, pretty nice looking. It's got a backlit keyboard. Um, the processor is four cores, four cores, eight threads, I believe, and it's got a 42 watt hour battery. So just a quick overview of what's, what it's got. It's got a USB 2.0 port here, an SD card slot on this side. And over on this side, we have headphone jack, a couple of USB A-type 3.1 ports, Ethernet port, HDMI, and of course your power cord. So what I'm going to do is shut it down. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to put in two sticks of Corsair Vengeance. DDR4 2666 memory, 16 gigabytes each, so we'll end up with 32 gigabytes total. And inside this model, there is a two and a half inch SATA bay to put in a hard drive or another SSD, two and a half inch drive. But in this case, I'm going to put in a Seagate Barracuda one terabyte hard drive to give a little more storage. So, first thing I'm going to do is shut it down. And I'm going to open it up. All right, so it's completely off. Now I've already taken out all the screws except these two in the back corner back here. These two screws by the hinges, they're a little different. They won't actually come all the way out. They got like a long unthreaded shoulder. So you just gotta get them completely unthreaded and they'll come out, but they're gonna actually stay in the hole. But I took out the rest of these screws. They're all the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up these hinge screws here. Just got to make sure they're completely unthreaded. That should do it. So what I'm going to do is take my little plastic spudger tool here and I'm going to get in, get into the seam right here. It's pretty, pretty simple. Well, it's kind of simple for me, I guess, because I do it every day. But we're just going to gently get, get our little spudger into the little seam here. Kind of work it around. Just gotta be patient on these. There it goes. Once you get it started, it's not too bad, but you just gotta be gentle and take your time. You can see how it's popping up and clicking. That's what we want to hear. And typically, I should try to get it up a little bit more here if I can. It's a little stubborn sometimes. But, oh, you can see it kind of came right off, and you can see how those screws stayed in the holes here, and that's totally fine. So we'll try to pry those out. So now I got it open. Um, this is our 2.5-inch bay. You see they have a mounting kit in here, which is kind of nice. Got the SATA cable, the hard drive caddy. Over here on this side is our NVMe A-Data 2 terabyte. NVMe drive and here's our two sticks of eight gigabytes we're going to take out and replace with two 16 gig sticks But first I'm going to disconnect the battery right here off the motherboard This cable just kind of slides back out of the connector there. So let me get my little tool here. I Just like to whenever possible unhook the battery Slide it out It's not always easy Gotta be patient Oop, there it goes. So we got the battery disconnected. But as an added precaution, you can gently open it up. I'm going to hold in the power button for a few a couple of seconds. 
just to drain any extra energy out of there should be good so now first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out these two sticks of RAM you just pull the clips out and it pops right up I'm gonna put a 16 gig over here I'm gonna end up at 32 gigabytes in dual channel just like that so now I'm gonna remove the hard drive caddy here there's only three screws there's one here here and here so I'm going to get the caddy out. Kind of only go one way, guys, so. Get that out of the way. Come on. All right, now the mounting screws, we need to mount the drive in here. They got them taped. Love how they do this. I remove this this tape here. There's our three little mounting screws they give you to hold the hard drive in the caddy. All right, then we're going to get rid of this. And it only goes one way just make sure you mount your hard drive in there right to line up with your SATA cable obviously so in this case it's going to go just like this and there's the screws in here to hold it in the caddy so this is going to be that i7 processor 32 gigs of dual channel memory and an NVMe drive it's a pretty snappy little computer when all is said and done you can do some video editing and rendering all kinds of multitasking should work good So now we're going to hook the SATA cable up, and again, it only goes one, one way, basically. Plug it in, and we'll set it right back in place here. And put our three mounting screws back in. Ah, screws are tangy. Pretty simple little upgrade. Just gotta be careful taking it apart. Don't forget the, the battery when you're all done. Been there, done that. Get a real busy day going and trying to get them done. Now we got the memory upgraded, got the new hard drive in it. Now I'm going to reconnect the battery carefully. <laughs> got to twist it around here, guys. Sorry. Make sure you get it seated in there all the way. Which it is. So we got that all done. Going to put the bottom cover back on carefully go around gently and snap it into place don't squeeze too hard on the lid side here because you got your screen under there squeeze too hard you could damage your LED screen don't force these corners back down the screw will pull it back down so I'm going to do that right now And then on these Dells, when you fire it up for the first time after changing the RAM configuration, it'll take a little extra time because memory or the BIOS is going to be reading the memory and it's going to come up and tell you there's been a change. You just got to wait for that and hit and then click on continue. So 
all these screws are the same size. I'm going to put those back in once I fire it up, make sure everything's okay. So I'm going to carefully open it up. Hold in the power button. The power button serves on this file as, of course, the power button. It's also a fingerprint sensor. That's why there's no markings on it. So, like I said, this will take a little bit of extra time to post. You've got to be patient. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, guys. and Maybe give me a like and subscribe. That would be awesome. should tell us in a second here yeah alert the amount of system memory has changed which is fine we're just going to click on continue Let it boot up into windows and we'll just double check and then we're going to set up that hard drive i installed real quick that seagate one terabyte hard drive Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Task Manager real quick. Just type in task in the search box. Over here to performance, click on memory. Now you can see it's showing 32 gigs of memory, 2667 megahertz, two of two slots used. So we're good there. Now I'm going to go over to my start menu. I'm going to right click on it and go to disk management right here. And there's our new hard drive that it sees, so I'm just going to hit OK. Make this bigger. So here's the one terabyte hard drive. We're going to right click on this. Going to make a new simple volume. Basically, I'm going to accept all the defaults on this, drive letter and everything. You can partition this if you want, but in this case, I'm not. So I'm going to hit Next and hit Finish. And it's going to do a quick format. And it's going to pop up here in a second. And there's our new volume. There's, we're good to go. I'll go to my computer real quick. So there's our new hard drive. There's our two terabyte SSD. We're all set. So there, that was an upgrade from 16 gigs of RAM to 32. We added another terabyte of hard drive storage in addition to the two terabyte SSD, a total of three terabytes. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you like it, give me a like. If you love it, give me a sub. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.